because a local coffee shop wants you to combine your art skills with your love of coffee. Barista is celebrating their 10th anniversary and if you are artistic enough with your coffee, you could win a coffee prize. So we have Brittany, we have Ricky, and Brett. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. It Thank you. kind of feels like I'm joining you guys at Barista because it's true. you have brought an espresso machine. Is that a coffee grinder? Mm -hmm. coffee a tiny grinder. barista right here. Right, you guys can stay here. Did you know that? You're gonna stay here. Yeah, We're just gonna have a built-in barista in our studio mm. forever. All right. That's Thank fine. you, we need caffeine. <laughs> so happy 10th anniversary to Thank barista. You. Thank you. People can submit coffee-inspired art, right? Yeah. Through the end of this month on Instagram. What kind of things are you are you getting so far? What is, what is coffee-inspired art? So, so far, we have a hashtag out at Celebrate a Better Cup as <laughs> barista is an elevated experience. And within the community, as we give you art every day in your cup, we are also getting with customers and people who are fans of us and producing their own art. So just today we got a beautiful drawing. Oh, and cool. as you see, we do have from yeah. a local artist who's been producing art for the last 10 years, uh, Blakely Dodson. And, uh, yeah, so we're just trying to combine those two, and with that, we're looking to hand out a beautiful three-month subscription of coffee roasted what? by this man right here. Three, three months, months of coffee? Three months, I'll bring it to you. That's amazing. <laughs> or I'll send it in the mail, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> With a handwritten way. note, brew tips, yeah, that's the right, whole that's shebang. Right. Yeah, oh, please send in your art. So speaking of art and speaking of brew tips, you are gonna let me attempt some latte art here? Yeah, let's do it. We don't have any kind of like, you know, placemat down on the floor or anything to soak up when I hopefully do not spill anything. Where do we start, we'll Ricky? So what I'll do is I'll pull you a shot of espresso and I think I might steam the milk as well and okay. your job will be to combine the two. Great. Into a hopefully Can't beautiful give too and many, delicious Can't too many cappuccino. jobs. How long have you been making coffee, making espresso? What do you, being a barista, I guess. Uh, always, I think. It's just always? Since I, since I was born. Just I've been at it for about. We're very caffeinated uh, child. It's been, it's been about 14 years now. Wow. Yeah. You think that small so child could be born. Great. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so first we're grinding the coffee. That's right. It smells amazing in here, and I will Perfect. say about a half an hour ago, I was saying to our producer, Christian, I'm so tired, I need some coffee. And then I remembered and that we were doing we were. this amazing thing on the show. So we got the coffee. Yep. Now if people come into Barista, do they, how much do they get to see of the process? Unfortunately, not a lot of it. Uh, we, we keep it set up much like this in our stores mm -hmm. as well. So you'll be, uh, the customer would, would typically be on this side. So we're we keep our machines front look. and center and, and we try to face towards people so that we can have an interaction mm -hmm. while we're doing this process. Wow, there are so many buttons. I'm definitely glad, Ricky, <laughs> that you are in charge of most of these things. I will be in charge of the art. While you are getting it ready, mm -hmm. any tips? What can I expect from attempting some latte art? You know, the first thing that people always do when they're first beginning their latte art journey is that they always pour from too far away from the cup. Oh. You actually have to be quite close oh. when you first start uh, in order to get the design going. So that's the that's the biggest tip. Yeah, because it looks fancy tip, if you're like pulling the, yeah. the pour. So people always want to do that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. Simple. Thank you, producer Christian, is telling me in my ear, I got this, I got this. Has anyone actually made anything beautiful their first try of doing latte art? It happens. Okay. Uh, I've had my son do this a few times and he's had pretty good luck actually. Though he's been seeing me do it since he was born, so there might well, be a, a, an advantage there. And you've been doing that since you were born, of course. <laughs> now, if you've been doing that for, have you been at Barista the whole 14 years? I have not. I've been at Barista for about five years now. Amazing. Have you seen, because it seems like as the years go on at Barista, after 10 years, a lot right? of things would have changed and things just keep get, getting bigger and better? I mean, we keep getting better and better coffee. We started roasting our own coffee, which is a huge and exciting step for us. Uh, so that's a big thing. Thanks we to were, Brett. Exactly. Yeah. This, this is our coffee <laughs> roasting man. It's Why is the coffee, what do you do roasting it that makes it so amazing? We do our best to just show off the inherent beauty that is in these coffees. Um, it is the seed of a fruit and it has fruit characteristics. Um, it has beautiful like tropical fruit aromatics and flavors, also like beautiful acidity. So oh. we just right. try to let the coffee speak. I'm so ready. Okay, I see you have a bucket below. Just is that, in case. Am I supposed to pour That's it the above the bucket? bucket? So I shouldn't just like go rogue and do it over here? No, we're staying by the bucket. So, so do now. it very close to the surface uh -huh. of the coffee. That's and the biggest thing. And what am thing. I trying to make? Uh, just pour until the cup's full. You'll see what happens. Just it's pretty pour amazing. it? Yep, Don't like do it. a design? Don't try. Do I stay just on the edge? Pour straight in the center. Oh, in the center. Yep. Shoot. Okay. Straight to the center. Good. Straight to the center. Perfect. Oh gosh. Keep going. How do you do this without like shaking and shaking? Oh gosh. Is something Nice. Great job. Stop. Oh. Ah, so close. 
<laughs> well, you know, my hands were cold, and now <laughs> yeah. I warmed up my hand a little bit as I spilled it. I, um, I think this is interpretive latte art. If you do not understand what I created here, you just don't get it, okay? You're not right. at my, Study at my level. Um, definitely very abstract. How would you describe this, Ricky? Uh, so this is the beginnings of what we in the industry call a monk's head. A mistake. Oh, a monk's head. Okay. You got, you got definition, though. You got contrast. You got the brown of the crema from the coffee. You got the white of the milk foam. And that is the first step to creating latte art. That blob, you can craft into all the designs we do. Oh, amazing. Okay. Christian in my ear is saying it's a blob. Claudia, we have you as our honored taste tester to see even if it just looks like a blob, it may just taste like the best latte you have ever had in your entire life. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to burn myself. But it's not it's not too hot because I already poured like half of it on my hands. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if this is a good confirm it to you. Oh yeah. yeah. We'll move yeah. the bucket <laughs> right under <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. We get crafty here as we it. do our latte it's art. Good coffee, though. Good coffee. Hey. Thank you to Brett and Ricky. Yeah. I didn't do any of the things that made it taste good, but you know, it looks That's lovely. So again, yeah. through January 31st, or when can people submit? Because January 31st is when you reveal the winner, right? That's correct. Uh, anytime, any day, throughout until January 31st. And you just use the hashtag Celebrate a Better Cup. It's That's only right. on Instagram. On Instagram only, uh, and, then, and Facebook as well. I and then it's one yeah. of the most likes. That's so correct. then you got to share it to all your friends. Yes. So we will we'll kind of review in the last week, and then we will get them and repost on our Instagram. Yes. So that way folks can see them and start the liking. In three months of coffee? Three months. That's amazing. At Thank your you doorstep. Yes. <laughs> or just come, yeah, come hang out with Yeah, come pick up a barista. Time. Thank you guys so much. Thank Claudia, you. I hope you're enjoying your latte. You can just take this bucket, walk it with you whenever you have your latte. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yes, of course. I feel so accomplished.